Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Prophets. Today, joined by my dad, the Yarl of Yeast, aka Evan. Um, today, we're going to be looking at an IPA. I'm up here visiting him. We're going to a wedding tomorrow, and uh, we're, we're actually here to get a car because we have to go kind of far. And I thought, we're here. Why not shoot another beer review with dad because you apparently love him? <laughs> I even showed him some, I got some QA questions about do raw reviews with your dad. So, my dad is like, <laughs> no, but today we're going to be looking at an IPA from Green Flash, oh. and this is the Green Flash West Coast IPA. Now this is the revamped version of it. They decided to go ahead and change uh, the recipe for the West Coast IPA because, you know, the whole new IPA revolution, and these were some of the first guys to ever do the IPAs. So the, their original West Coast IPA, I reviewed it way back in the day, American Classic, they decided to change it and make it a double IPA instead on 81... Uh, 81, 8.1. <laughs> It's an alcohol and 95 ABUs with uh, Simcoe, Columbus, Cascade, Centennial, and Citra hops. The one thing I don't like about it though is that it says Best Buy, but there's no date. No. So I, <laughs> I guess they forgot to put that on there, but let's get it cracked open. Nice color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what would you call the color, Dad? Well, that's orange. Yeah, it looks really nice. It looks like a nice, you know, IPA. Yeah. Uh, kind of a beige. You've you, you got a more top than I have. Yeah, I've filled a little more in the gas. Yeah, okay. But it, it looks nice. Let's check out the aroma. Yeah. Yeah, it smells it smells quite hoppy, piney, resiny, earthy, but it smells a little old, I think. Yeah, I, I think too. It's not as fresh as the Father Nelson we had. No, 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 no. You you get well maybe not tea leaf as you get, but you you're getting more of the malt backbone, some caramel, kinda of toffee, sweet, malty aromas. Yeah. But I'm definitely also getting like grapefruit. Yeah, yeah, and the the, the cascade. You can you can smell the cascade. Yeah, there's like um, the citrus notes. Yeah. There, uh, um, they say tropical fruit, but that's kind of faded now. I guess I'm not smelling that, but definitely pine and, and grapefruit and mm. it smells like a traditional Saint or West Coast type IPA, just not as fresh. But okay. let's give it a taste. We'll try it. Cheers. Cheers. A little more hop flavor than aroma, actually. Mm. Very piney and grapefruity. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and bitterness is it really, uh, really good high. in it. Yeah, uh, really high bitterness. But it again, it it's not all the way in tea leaf flavors, but the malt backbone definitely shines through more. I'm definitely tasting some of those kind of um, sweet caramel malt flavors. What are you picking up? Yeah. Um, I pick up the bitterness of the hops but uh, as you say the, the the malt is there too yeah much more than in an ordinary yeah but that's EPA probably because of the age but it's probably. quite bitter actually mm. the bitterness really lingers on yes the back yes end. yes yes the bitterness is very much mm -hmm. but it's quite drinkable for an eight percent beer I think mmm not tasting the eight percent it's quite refreshing Actually, the more I drink it, the more like really bitter grapefruit I'm getting. Like a bitter, like you just like the grapefruit or something like that. It's actually really bitter. No, no, no freshness in it. Yeah, but a lot of bitterness. Yeah, and a lot of grapefruit, and a lot of pine, almost resiny earthy notes, and then a good kick of that caramel toffee. Love to try this fresh in San Diego sometime. I'll definitely be back in the U.S. eventually. <laughs> I'm going to be done. With my studies next year, so hopefully I'll be able to make a trip or something around that time. I don't know. Uh, but rating-wise for this one, as it is right now, I'm gonna go 83. I think it's 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 a, it's quite nice. I mean, it's, I really like the bitter backbone and all, and, but it's just a little disappointing compared to some of the other Green Flash beers I've had, especially considering, um, yeah, the the Best Buy date should have been on there. Yeah. When you get a beer, a hobby beer like this, and it's tasting very old, and there's not even a Best Buy date. Yeah. Is it on the, the top? No. no, it's just their logo at all. I usually love green flash beers. I think that's why I'm a little bit disappointed too. But I think I gave the regular like a 90, the old one, uh, because it was like a fairly fresh bottle of it. But yeah, this, I guess, is like three, mm. two, three, four months old or something like that, I imagine. What about you? It's my favorite kind of beer. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm uh, picking this up. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, I, I need a bit more fruitiness. Yeah. But uh, I'll, I'll be there in, in the 80s too. Yeah. So guys, that does it for the beer review of the Green Flash new version of West Cow Coast IPA. Now a double IPA instead of a single IPA. Um, if you're into the more malty uh, and bitter, resiny, grapefruity IPAs, this is for you. For me, again, as Dan said, more the fruity stuff. Like Father Nelson. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Great beer. So yeah. Uh, guys, definitely let us know what you think of the new version. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We have another review coming with Dad later. A beer that should be pretty good. And uh, yeah, we're going to say cheers. Cheers. See you guys in another beer review.